Hola familia, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the medicine of Hape. I want to share a little bit more about this sacred medicine and offer some insights and tools for how to work with it in a good way, as well as for those who are curious about this medicine, watching this video can be very supportive uh, as an introduction to this plant ally and the practice of working with Hape. Hape is a herbal snuff that is utilized by many different indigenous communities, primarily in Brazil and throughout other regions of South America. And it has been utilized for thousands of years as part of the spiritual practice of these tribes and working in relationship with the spirits of nature and in communion with the creator. Hape is a blend of tobacco and the ash of different roots, seeds, leaves, and tree bark. And there are many different blends of hape, but in general, hape is utilized for grounding, for centering, for clarity, for connection. Traditionally, it is done within the context of a ceremony uh, where it is often served for deep purification, cleansing, alignment, and it is a powerful ally and tool for tapping into the space of connection. Hape is one of the most potent plant teachers that we share at Four Visions, and because it carries the tobacco medicine, it has to be always worked with with a lot of reverence and respect. And there is a certain way to work with Hape uh, that we recommend and support for those who are utilizing Four Visions Hape, and we really want to share that with you today and outline really just how to work with this medicine from this place of sacredness, from this place of ritual. It is a snuff, so essentially um, it is applied up the nose and it is applied one nostril at a time traditionally. And different tribes have over the years, over the centuries, had created their applicators of how to apply the hape, um, but traditionally it's blown up the nostril, uh, utilizing bamboo, bone, or other types of sacred wood, such as rosewood or palo santo. And so there are different types of applicators uh, to apply the hape, and we'll talk in a little while about those different types of applicators and how to serve and apply yourself. But essentially, first and foremost, when introducing this medicine to someone for the first time, I always like to explain a little bit more about the history and the, the purpose and use of the hape. Traditionally, like I mentioned, the hape was done in ceremony. Sometimes for certain tribes, it was utilized in combination with ayahuasca or other forms of visionary plants. But there are certain tribes that are hape tribes where their principal pillar for their communities is in fact the hape. Now, when they work with the hape, it's very much in this place of divine communion and reverence and from the harvesting of the tobacco and the other plants that are utilized to the making of the blends and the preparing of the hape, which is an extremely laborious process uh, where the, the medicine has to be dried, um, powdered, ground, and then blended together. And throughout this whole process, the medicine is being prayed over, there are songs being sung, um, there's good intention and prayer and blessings being poured into the medicine. And so it's from this place that the medicine comes to us. And it's always very important to keep this in mind when we work with Hape, because this medicine has traveled so far to come to be with us. And it's a great blessing to have access to this potent plant ally today in Western culture. I personally believe that the Hape can be an incredible tool for disrupting patterns, for finding absolute clarity. And this is something that we're deeply needing this time in humanity's evolution. We have a long relationship with Hape of over a decade of study with this medicine. And I have a lot to share as far as working with it in a good way and some of the best practices as well as things that you should be aware of when, we're, when establishing a practice with this medicine, because it is very powerful. Just to speak a little bit to the power of tobacco, tobacco is one of the master plants because it has the power to heal and it also has the power to harm. So if we look at the, um, you know, the story of 
tobacco commercialization from um, the Western society and what we think of as tobacco today being, you know, cigarettes and um, other forms of tobacco products that have a lot of chemicals in them that have um, grown the tobacco in a genetically modified way to um, get the most nicotine and um, to treat it as a cash crop, essentially. This is so different from the perspective and the context surrounding um, the ways in which traditional people work with tobacco. Traditional cultures have always respected this plant and tre treated it with tremendous amount of reverence, knowing its potency and power. Because it has this other side to it, it's always very important to work with the tobacco and with the hape from this place of awareness, from this place of honoring, from this place of ritual, and to really be very vigilant to ensure that our practice with the hape never become habitual, never become, um, you know, really just something out of habit rather than something that is being utilized for our communion. And so essentially from this place, we offer the hape to our community. And as you probably know, um, over the years, Four Visions has really, you know, become known for hape. And it's a really beautiful blessing to have established the relationships with our indigenous partners, um, where there's this trust um, in us to serve and source and share this medicine um, with so many people all over the world. And it's also a great responsibility. This medicine, more than any of the other medicines that we share, has this really important element of, of protection that is needed when sharing it and sourcing it because we really send a prayer and hold the, the sharing of the hape from this place of deep prayer that everyone who comes in contact with this sacred tool utilize it in the way that it was designed, in the way that it is meant to be worked with. And we pray that this medicine can support in your evolution, your spiritual growth, your expansion, and your spiritual inquiry, and your healing journeys, because that's really what it's for. And it has this incredible power and potential and so many benefits um, that we can call upon when we work with it from this place. And so this is a, a general introduction and overview to the hape. Um, and ultimately, there are many different ways to work with the hape because ultimately when it left the jungle, there was also this opening of like other people coming in contact with this medicine. And so the ways in which traditional people work with the hape is very much only in the ceremonial setting, uh, once in a long time, not very frequently. And the amount that they serve is usually um, almost like a, a mound of hape. They serve so much hape, and that's the dosage within the context of the traditional use of this medicine. Um, and it's utilized, like I mentioned, infrequently because they're utilizing it from this place of shamanic alignment and deep, deep purification. And so I mentioned that because many people work with hape in much smaller doses, and that's okay. And from my perspective, you know, these medicines are coming out of the jungle to evolve and grow and um, the Western culture being in relationship with these medicines, um, it's natural for there to evolve other ways of working with the medicine. And the, the medicine makers who tr entrust us with these medicines, they also understand this and they give their blessings for us to share this medicine. But I wanted to mention that because a lot of people think that hape is a daily practice and it can be for some with awareness and intentionality behind it, but that's not how the traditional use of this medicine is. And so in, this, in these videos, I want to really go into what it means to establish a practice with hape and how you can really um, work with this alignment with this powerful tool and plant medicine and sustain a relationship with it.